Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is a quick look at Wallabag. Wallabag is an open source tool for managing your online bookmarks, uh, kind of in the vein of Mozilla Pocket or Nextcloud bookmarks. It's different from your browser's bookmark keeper in that you're able to do quite a bit with uh, the tool. For one thing, as you can see here, you have the option of applying a bunch of different tags. Um, so if I go to my tags list, you'll see that I have uh, provided a whole bunch of different tags for articles that I found. And then if I want to go back to articles that have the tag, for example, green, I can go and see every article that has been tagged with that keyword green. Um, another thing that's interesting about Wallabag is uh, it is a uh, self-hosted service that actually goes and fetches the content of the article that you are reading. Um, so if I click on this article, you can see that I am loading up the article without any uh, ads or, you know, stripped of all formatting, and it just allows me to read the article itself um, with, with pre-cached text. Now, this is kind of useful, especially in the um, mobile version, because the mobile version of the tool actually also has a spe uh, speech to text feature. So if you want to have uh, Wallabag read your articles to you, again, kind of like Pocket, uh, you can do that. And then you can see that there are other options here. You can mark uh, an article as read, you can toggle it as starred, you can share it uh, with others. So uh, this is pretty great because if you're like me and you're bombarded with a whole bunch of things that you know that you should read throughout the day, uh, you are able to catalog them and say, okay, uh, I'm going to come back to these. Or if you find an article or even just an ordinary website or a code repo that you want to hold on to, this gives you uh, a lot of tools for organizing these links together. And then eventually when you want to, you can come back to it. Um, let me show you what sharing an article looks like. If I go to, or I'm sorry, saving an article looks like. If I go to, um, let's see, what's a, what's a good website to check out? Um, I'll, I'll try the Washington Post. Or maybe Wired. Um, since Wired sometimes doesn't have that, um, aggressive paywall. Uh, and I decide that I, <laughs> oh man, which of these do I want to look at? Facing demons. Looks like a, a game. Oh, this looks interesting. I want to hold on to this thing. I'm going to go up to my browser where I have the Wallabag extension, Wallabagger. And I click on this and I say, okay, I am interested in this because it is about games and COVID. And after that, it's done. So uh, I can close this tab and come back to it later. Then if I refresh my Wallabag tab, you'll see that it shows up here. And it's all cached. So I really like Wallabag. I'm self-hosting it right now on my own uh, Raspberry Pi server in my living room. And I've really found it a great way to keep track of all the different uh, links that I've been exposed to over time. So um, take a look if this sounds interesting. All right. Thanks for watching.